Welcome to Mine Class, where we strip back some of the basics of Minecraft. Mine Class isn't just for new players. Even experienced Minecrafters can rediscover things that they had forgotten, or even principles that they just never really thought about. Today's class is Flowers 101. Flowers. You throw down some bone meal, flowers appear. Easy, right? Minecraft has a number of flowers which are not only decorative, but also produce various dyes. However, if you want to make more than just yellow and red, there are a few principles you should know about first especially if you're planning on building a flower farm. The most important thing to decide is what you intend to do with these flowers, as that will determine the kind of flowers that you will need. Once you know what kind of flowers you're interested in, you need to know which biomes will produce the flowers you're after. Poppies and dandelions, which produce red and yellow dyes, will grow on any dirt or grass block in any biome when bone meal is applied. All the other flowers, however, require a little bit of work. Blue orchids, which are my favourite flower by far, produce light blue dye and only grow in swamp biomes. Though poppies and dandelions don't naturally generate in swamps, they will grow when bone meal is used on dirt and grass blocks. Make sure not to apply the bone meal directly to the blue orchids, however, as that will only produce poppies and dandelions. Building a flower farm in a swamp biome will net you blue orchids, but you may also get poppies and dandelions as well. Allium is another flower that is only found in one biome type, flower forests. We'll talk more about flower forests in a moment, but to grow allium, you will need to locate a flower forest for your farm. In the 1.14 snapshot, it appears that the lily of the valley will also require flower forests, so that's something to look forward to in the update. The last flower that will only be found in one biome is the sunflower, which only grows on sunflower plains. However, the sunflower is what is referred to as a double or a tall flower, flowers that are two blocks high. These large flowers, which include rose bushes, lilacs and peonies, will never generate from the use of bone meal on a dirt or grass block. The only way to produce additional tall flowers is by applying bone meal to them directly. The original flower will be unaffected, but an item of that flower will drop, allowing you to pick it up. This can be automated with the use of dispensers and hoppers, and I don't have my own tutorial on this yet, so in the description below I will put a link for Jax's tutorial for an automated tall flower farm. And because you're putting bone meal on the flower directly, these can be set up anywhere you like. The remaining flowers, the Azure Bluet, Oxide Daisy, Tulips, and most likely Cornflowers in 1.14 can be farmed in Plains, Sunflower Plains, or Flower Forest Biomes. The two Plains and the Flower Forest act a little differently, so you may want to throw some bone meal around before settling on where to build your flower farm. In a Flower Forest, each coordinate has an assigned flower. Applying bone meal to a block in flower forests will always produce the same flower in the same location. However, it may not be the same flower that generated at world creation. So a block that grows a white tulip will always grow a white tulip, and a block that produces an allium will also produce an allium, and so on. However, just because a block has a flower on it when you find the flower farm biome doesn't mean that that's the exact flower you will get when you use bone meal. These 
Designated positions of flowers are known as flower gradients and they can be quite large. So if you choose to build your flower farm in a forest, you may want to use some bone meal first to see what kind of flowers you'll be getting. Planes and sunflower planes are a little more flexible. Each coordinate is assigned as tulip or non-tulip. A tulip coordinate will spawn any of the colours of tulip, but only tulips. Non-tulip coordinates will spawn poppies, dandelions, azure bluets or oxeye daisies, but never a tulip. Unlike the flower forest, the colour of the tulip, or the type of non-tulip, is randomised each time you use bone meal. But a tulip block will never grow a non-tulip type of flower, and vice versa. Hopefully this has given you a little insight into how flowers work, and how to build the most effective flower farm for your needs. This has been Ghost Wolf with the Flowers 101 Mind Class. Thank you for your attendance.